Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nobe. I hope I find you well. You had a wonderful holiday, as some of us did. And you are geared for a new and more prosperous year ahead. Uh, we are meeting again in this broadcast. We are taken a sabbatical, a brief sabbatical for a month because we also wanted to detox from uh, the toxic politics that we went through, from the bad news that we went through, but also to rest from the hard work, a serious shift that we put in last year. And now we are back, we are refreshed, we have new ideas, and we are ready to go. Uh, there are a number of issues that I want us to touch about uh, or touch around. Uh, the first one being uh, the issue of the Zimbabwe exemptions permit, you know that the Minister of Home Affairs, that is Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti, announced uh, towards the end of last year that uh, there would be uh, an extension of the Zimbabwe exemption permit to the 31st of December uh, 2024, that is for the permits or the stickers that you have on your passports written ZEP. So they will expire on the 31st of December 2024. And then he also announced that there is going to be another two-year special dispensation permit for Zimbabweans, which is going to expire on the 31st of December 2025. So I think this gives us enough time as Zimbabweans, especially those who are holding the Zimbabwe exemption permit, to try and migrate from the ZEP to any other South African permit that you believe you qualify for uh, but now there are people who have been asking if uh, this means that those who have not applied for the waivers should stop some others also were asking if those who did apply for waivers and other permits uh, should then move to the new permit that is going to be uh, introduced which has not yet been introduced so our answer is if you have already applied for a waiver and you are awaiting the adjudication of that application or the outcome of that application continue to wait be patient you have enough time uh, to con uh, to then receive that uh, adjudication or that outcome and then go on to apply for the permit provided that you have been given uh, the waiver that you asked for so once you get the waiver you then apply for a mainstream south african permit if the waiver uh application came out negative meaning that you didn't get the waiver that you applied for then that's when you can uh, apply for this new dispensation permit which is going to be valid for two years that is up to the 31st of december 2025 then there are those who have not yet applied for waivers and they are asking if the process has been closed because there are many people who went around spreading the rumor that uh, the waiver applications would end on the 31st of December 2023. So what we get so far is that the application process for waivers has not been closed which means that people should continue to apply for waivers. What I don't know though is if the announcement that there will be a new dispensation permit is going to affect the new waiver applications but i don't think they will uh, because uh, already the government did not close the process of applying for waivers so if they wanted to stop people from applying for waivers they would have announced that because uh, dr mtualeti doesn't beat around the bush he states it clearly if you are not supposed to apply for a waiver that no you should stop applying for a waiver go on to apply for this new permit so this new permit there are others who have also been asking how they go about applying for it it will be applied for on the vfs website that is the vfs global website where you have been applying for your waivers um, but we have not yet been told when the process is going to start i think that's probably because uh there is enough time for people to then apply for it because you remember that your waivers will go on until at least the end of this year that is the 31st of december so the government is going to give you ample time to apply for this new permit and then we take it from there so on the issue of zimbabwe exemption permits that is where we are 
Then the second issue is many of you, I know, were shocked yesterday by the announcement by advocate Nelson Chamisa, who is, who has until yesterday been the leader of the mainstream opposition party in Zimbabwe based on the results of the elections that were held on the 23rd and 24th of August last year. So he has announced officially that he is stepping down from being the president of Triple C. He did that yesterday. There are people who have been asking, they've been forwarding that statement and asking if it's indeed true that advocate Nelson Chamisa has left the Triple C. Yes, he has left. And that is because of the frustrations that he went through, uh, especially in the hands of uh, a man who claims to be the interim secretary general of Triple C, that is Misty Sengezo Chabang. You know the shenanigans that Sengezo Chabang has been pulling since he ever announced that he was the interim secretary general of Triple C. And he did. How did he announce that? He announced this by writing directly to the Speaker of Parliament, uh, Advocate Jacob Mutenda, seeking a recall of some Triple C members. I think that was a taste case for him. Then when he won that, he went on to recall even councillors and MPs from different areas in Zimbabwe who had been elected uh, into those positions under Triple C ticket. Whether or not uh, Chaba is working with ZANU-PF, we don't know. But what we know is that after he took advantage of the structurelessness of Triple C, and realized that it can uh, it can work in his favor when he tried to recall people and got that wish granted by the Speaker of Parliament. He went uh, on a trigger happy uh, expedition, recalling everyone that he sought to recall from Parliament, and he was aided in this. We mustn't beat around the bush by a Zanu PF that is desperate for. Uh, a two-thirds majority, they took advantage of the confusion within Triple C. We must say that as well. They took advantage of the confusion within Triple C to then uh, dissect and pulverize the mainstream opposition. They also went ahead, we are told, and agreed that they will send Triple C money to Sengezo Chabang. So, this frustrated advocate Nelson Chamisa and a number of other people that were on his side in this factional fight within Triple C, and the advocate has decided to leave Triple C, and just like he did when he left the MTC Alliance in the hands of uh, uh, Takias Monzora. So, advocate Chamisa is contemplating his next move, but. What we get from the grapevine is that he's going to launch another political party. We are told that uh, they are already in, in advanced stages of launching that political party. They've, put, they, they've um, chosen the color, they've chosen the name, but they are yet to make those official. We don't know the structure of that particular party, but what we know is that Advocate Nelson Chamisa will be the president of that political party. And then uh, what does this mean for Triple C members who are in Parliament? We believe that uh, they will take individual decisions. There are some that are going to quit, probably, and follow Advocate Nelson Chamisa once he has launched his new party. But there are others that we think, for personal uh, reasons, will remain in Parliament under Triple C tickets because you'll know that those who quit will have to go through uh, by elections again hoping that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission will hold by elections because we know we have heard Nelson Chamisa himself saying that uh, it is foolhardy for the government which is cash strapped to continue holding by elections but if their members of parliament pull out it means we are going to have by elections or we might have Zex saying you know what we don't have money so we're not going for any by elections. But by law, they must suppose, I mean, there is supposed to be a declaration of vacancies once those MPs uh, pull out. Then after that declaration of vacancies, they must be, uh, the president must set in place the days on which 
the nomination courts must sit and the subsequent dates of the by-elections. So this is provided for by the law in Zimbabwe. So we don't know what is going to happen. We have got no advice for anyone who is a member of Triple C because we believe that these people do have it within their capacity to decide what they want. But while now this then means that Zimbabwe is at a crossroads with Zimbabwe, we know that Advocate Chamisa is going to form a political party, but we also know what is going to befall that particular political party because as we have said before, there is an X to grind between Advocate Nelson Chamisa and President Emerson Mnangakwa who feels betrayed by the Triple C leader, you know that going into the coup of 2017, these two leaders were working together. They even convinced the then MTC Alliance leader, Mokin Swangirai, to join in this crusade to remove um, Robert Mugabe. That's why you saw members of the MTC Alliance joining hands and forces with the Zimbabwean National Army and supporters of ZANU PF to call for Mugabe's removal. Not only that, to also declare that the AU and the SAT must stay away of Zimbabwean issues. Now we want those people back. They are saying, you, you guys told us to stay away and we are staying away and we are crying now. So these guys joined hands. They took out Robert Mugabe and in return, Nelson Chamisa was given the leadership of MTC Alliance. Now, after he had that leadership, he then decided to teach the Lacoste camp of ZANU-PF, which is being led by Emerson Mnangakwa, who is the president of ZANU-PF. And he decided to join hands with Mnangakwa's enemies within ZANU-PF, or those who had been pushed out of ZANU-PF, the likes of Jonathan Moyo, the likes uh, of uh, Patrick Juwawo, the likes of Sevia Kasukwere, and the likes of Okanstin Chiwuri, Hepiton Bonyongwe. So now, Mnangakwa feels betrayed by Nelson Chamisa. So what this means is that whatever political party that Nelson Chamisa forms is going to go the same way, is going to suffer the same fate as the MTC that he lost to Tawazani Kupe, the MTC alliance that he lost to Douglas Monzora, and Triple C, which he has lost to Sengezo Chabam. So, this is where we are right now. I know many of you, especially those who are cultist followers uh, of Advocate Chamisa, will call me names. But the issue is, there is nothing that I've told you beforehand about Zimbabwean politics, especially on this platform, which has not come to pass. I remember you insulting me when I said that there will be no fresh elections in Zimbabwe, when I said that the SATIC election observer mission has got no power or authority or mandate to declare a nullity in Zimbabwean elections. I told you that the SATIC has got no power or mandate to force Zimbabwe into a fresh election. The AU also doesn't have that kind of power and you insulted me. We are in 2024. Triple C has totally collapsed. And there have been no fresh elections. So I think there is time where you need to move away from your political slumbers and start listening to voices of reason because we are informing you not to sway you, but to make sure that you take informed decisions and continue with your lives. We told you that there will be no fresh elections. We told you that Zimbabwe would not be um, discussed in SATAC and had not been discussed in the SATAC and AU meetings but you thought that we were lying you even insulted us you provided analysis that was obtained from journalists who are in the hands of the opposition journalists who are paid to mislead you to lie to you so that you believe that something is being done now triple c has collapsed there has been no fresh election advocate chamisa is going to form a new party but believe you me Unless and until they start participating in these by-elections, the only election that can, they can um, contest will be in 2028 when Zimbabwe holds its next harmonized election. So this is where we are. Uh, thank you very much 
for joining us. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like it, this video, and share it. Thank you.